this is just funny. Uh, BB Netanyahu is hated so much in Israel that people are protesting outside of his home, and the cops had to be called to disperse the protesters, or at least attempt to, and he got arrested. Uh, thousands upon thousands upon thousands of Israeli citizens want Netanyahu removed because they have seen through his lies. They know he doesn't care about the hostages and are just using them as pawns to continue the genocide in Gaza. At least eight people are under arrest after mass anti-government protests took over the streets in Jerusalem. Demonstrators there clashed with police outside Prime Minister Netanyahu's home last night. They've been calling for elections as they pressure Netanyahu to make a hostage deal with Hamas and end the war in Gaza. Foreign correspondent Tom Sufi Burridge. Uh, protesters have been protesting since pretty much the start of the war in Gaza. Uh, requesting that the Israeli government accept hostage deals and ceasefires with Hamas. And the only thing that's been going on is they repeatedly reject any uh, deal to have the hostages release, which just aggravate the protesters even more. And just goes to show even further that Netanyahu does not actually care about rescuing the hostages has the latest from Jerusalem. Good morning, Stephanie. Yeah, Netanyahu's official residence is just over there. You can see the barricades here. A lot of these roads are blocked off. A lot of police, as you'd expect, in this area. And we were right here late last night. Protesters clashing with police using water cannon to try and disperse the crowd. There were clashes. Some of the crowd set fires on the street. Uh, Israeli police calling those incidents very, very serious. And those protesters calling for elections. They want Netanyahu to make a hostage deal with Hamas and end the war in Gaza. In Gaza, the IDF saying it's pausing military military activity along a key highway running from a crossing in the south about 10 miles north so that more aid can be taken by aid agencies to those areas in Gaza where there is a desperate need. Israel pressing on though with its offensive in Rafa, that controversial offensive which President Biden opposed, but the IDF saying that operation could be over in weeks. And in that southern Gaza city, relative... Right, and that's like uh, when Putin said that the invasion of Ukraine was only going to take weeks and look at it now. How, how has it gone from this operation is going to uh, take months and months to just now it's only going to take a few weeks? It's because the IDF is lying. Relatives mourning victims in Rafa in a hospital. We're hearing from that hospital that about eight people were killed in an Israeli strike Monday. There are reports that security guards guarding aid trucks were caught up in that strike. As President Biden's envoy arrives in Beirut amid concerns, attacks between Israel and Iran-backed Hezbollah on the northern border, Israel's northern border, and into southern Lebanon, that situation could be on the brink of a wider war, officials warning us. And Stephanie, another protest here in Jerusalem.